Hello. Who are you? Doesn't matter. Welcome. You're safe with me. I'll be right here. Nice and close so I can speak without alerting the others. Let me tell you about Senua. Now her story has already come to an end, but now it begins anew. What's happening? It's breathing. Dead. It's breathing. It's breathing. He knows she's getting closer. He can feel her coming closer. She's getting closer. This is a journey deep into darkness. There'll be no more stories after this one. What is she doing? Why is she doing this? I'm watching. Why isn't she doing coming? Back. She's doing this for him. She wants to rescue him. He's already dead. I can feel you coming. Shh. coming. Quiet. Oh, how rude of me. I never told you of the others. You hear them too, right? They've been around ever since the tragedy. Well, that's not quite true. Some are old, some are new, but they've changed. I think the darkness changed them just like it changed her. She would get used to it by now after so many years. But the darkness, it just builds onto itself, growing stronger, towering over her. You might try and ignore it, turn away. But it's always there, just out of sight, where you're most vulnerable. It's like it knows that just enough light is all you need to see its suffocating power. They can feel you. You might think she's brave to go on this journey on her own, but it isn't bravery that drives her. 
bravery only means something to those afraid of death. Said it was fear runs far, far deeper. no going back. You can't do it. Senua pushes away a world that conspired to cause so much suffering. There's nothing to go back to and worse to look forward to. Why don't you join us? Maybe you too have a part to play in this story. Your darkness comes from hell, and your fate lies there. They say the burning of a corpse will take you straight to Hella's gate, but gods and the living will follow this path. You must leave the Isles of Orkney across the Eastern Sea and find a road that leads north and down through deep, dark valleys. After nine nights of riding, you will follow a great river and will find a bridge covered in gold. The path to Helheim goes from there, across the river of knives that flows from the dark world of Niflheim. which lies the halls of hell, the place they call Helheim.
There's no doubt about it. The source of the darkness is in Helheim. And the goddess Hela holds his soul there. Her dear beloved, Dillian. What is she doing? Why is she doing this? Why doesn't she tell me? She's doing this for him. She wants to rescue him. He's already dead. He's dead. But his soul is in Helheim. His soul still lives. She needs to save his soul. She wants his soul to be at peace. She needs to lay him to rest. He's already dead. <laughs> she can save him. There's nothing she can do. She thinks she's going to save him. She's not going to save him. She'll never make it to Helheim. <laughs> do you know where to Helheim. Where are we? I forget its name. She forgets too. But she does remember that only the dead may cross it. That part wasn't so easy to forget. The old fool said there was a hidden path up to it. Let's see, shall we? speak of nine worlds. The world of men they call Midgard. Sky gods dwell in Asgard. The gods of earth, harvest, wind and sea dwell in Vanaheim. The good elves dwell in Alfheim. The evil ones dwell in Svartalfheim. The mountain giants dwell in Jotunheim. The fire giants dwell in Muspelsheim. Niflheim is the world of ice and darkness. Only the dead dwell in Helheim, and that is where you must travel. Liar. He's a liar. 
An old fool. <laughs> truth is my truth. It's good to see you again. You kept your vow. I guide you in this life and the next. I will tell you my stories of hell if I may walk with you. Tell me your stories again, old friend. I'm listening. The runes seal the gates to hell. Focus your inner eye. And you too will see what's hidden in plain sight. I can see one. Hold it in your mind's eye. Find one like it to open the gate. through the gate. Go through it. It's dangerous. Follow it. What's behind? It work. It's not safe. I spent six years enslaved in hell. But I watched the Northmen. Learned their ways. I know you did. You listened? When everyone else laughed. My people paid the heavy price. My stories with you, and together we will make the Northmen feel our fury. Another voice joins us. She once tried to make them go away, pretend they weren't real. 